Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Sangeeta Nair. Prime Minister Datuk Sri Abdullah Ahmad Badawi is surprised that a member of his cabinet had asked for him to reconsider the 2010 transition plan. Abdullah told reporters this after chairing the 20th Malay MSC Malaysia Implementation Council meeting Thursday. Abdullah says he was staying on to work on pending problems. I'm not staying. I'm not staying on just for the pleasure of staying on. I tell you, it is not a work that can, I can regard as a pleasure. There's a lot of responsibility. There's a lot of problems that need to be attended to, and there's a lot of program that I have already indicated that I must uh, do my best to complete. On Wednesday, Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin, who is also Amno Vice President, says Abdullah should rethink his transition plan to step down by 2010 as the time frame was too long. Under the transition of power, Abdullah is to hand over the post of Prime Minister, the Chairmanship of Barisan National and the Presidency of Amno to his Deputy, da da deputy Datuk Sri Najib Tun Raza in June 2010. Housing and Local Government Minister Dato Sri Ong Ka Chuan says the build and sell concept has not been deferred and is running parallel with the existing system of house purchasing. He says some housing projects were still carrying out the trial of the concept while the government was studying the legal and financial aspects of the system. In last year we started this 1090, 1090 uh, uh, I mean you pay 10 percent uh, then after that, you wait for the houses to be completed, then only you pay the 90%. Now, we did, uh, this was put on a trial basis because there are a lot of implications such as a, a lot of financial institution. They might not be able to take the type of risk uh, and also there are also other uh, legal implications. Uh, whether the person pay 10% after that, let's say when you completed the house, uh, let's say he do want to take up the house, <laughs> so then the developer will be put the developer into very difficult position. Ong says the ministry was getting feedback from financial institutions, legal professionals, and the developers on the feasibility of implementing the concept in the country. He said after launching the IGM Land Berhad corporate identity on Thursday. Previously, it was reported that the government had deferred the build then sell concept. Energy, Water and Communications Minister Dato Shaziman Abdu Ma Abu Manso says the Cabinet has ordered the Malaysian Communications and Multimedia Commission to reinstate access to all blocked websites, including Malaysia Today. On August 28, the Commission confirmed that it had instructed all 21 internet service providers to block Malaysia Today, complying with Section 263 of the Communications and Multimedia Act. Since then, various parties have slammed the move, saying the action went against national commitments spelt out under MSC Malaysia's Bill of Guarantees. Home Minister Datuk Sri Syed Hamid Alba had said the site was blocked because it showed no respect for religion. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Sangeeta Nair. Thanks for watching.